If the sun vanished tomorrow, the first sign would not be darkness. For 8 minutes and 20 seconds, everything would appear normal. We would be adrift in the gravitational wake of a ghost. When the light finally fails, the entire solar system instantly plunges into eternal night. The immediate danger isn't the darkness, it is the drift. Earth's orbit, dependent on the sun's gravitational pull, would instantly collapse. Our planet would become a cold, aimless projectile flung into the vast cosmic void. The second danger is the extreme cold. Within five days, global temperatures would plummet rapidly below freezing. After one year, the surface temperature would stabilize around minus 100 degrees Celsius. This catastrophic climate shift would systematically eliminate 99.99% of all life. The foundational architecture of our entire existence, photosynthesis, climate stability, planetary structure, would be erased. But this hypothetical death is mild compared to the sun's true, unavoidable fate. Our star, powered by sustained nuclear fusion, is currently 4.6 billion years into its estimated 10 billion year prime sequence. No star escapes death. In approximately 5 billion years, the sun will exhaust the hydrogen fuel in its core. Its equilibrium will shatter, causing it to swell into a red giant, scorching Earth and likely engulfing Mercury and Venus. Its final form will be a white dwarf, a stellar corpse roughly the size of Earth, no longer producing heat through fusion. While a white dwarf can continue to shine faintly for hundreds of billions of years using residual thermal energy, it too will eventually cool. It will become a black dwarf, cold, dense, and utterly dark. The observable universe is 13.7 billion years old, yet Hubble observations suggest that even at the cosmological edge, there are still faint white points of light. This indicates that the universe is not old enough for a true black dwarf, a star that has fully exhausted its heat, to exist yet. Five billion years from now, whether humanity still exists is irrelevant to the timeline of our solar system's end. We are tethered to a clock already half run down. Everything humanity has built, achieved, and recorded relies entirely on this singular, stable energy source. On a universal scale, the eventual disappearance of our star is nothing more than the termination of a single white blood cell in the vast cosmic body. It is insignificant. It alters nothing beyond the boundary of this solar system. Our life is defined by its brevity, set against the backdrop of geological and stellar time. We are temporary residents orbiting a temporary furnace, and that is the profound, cold reality we must measure ourselves against.